Hi everyone, welcome back, or welcome if you're new. Thanks so much for being here. I just wanted to give you a quick flip of each of my planners as you know the setup videos can be quite long and not everyone wants to wait around for the entire video to see this to see the flip. So I thought I would just show you today just the flip of this creative journal for 2023. This is a Hobonichi A6 Avec and I'm using the lilac leather cover from 2022 has a pocket in the back and it is this gorgeous soft leather really lovely and in their traditional uh, butterfly clasp design I have my Twisby pen here and that, that has pink ink and let me show you inside the planner so absolutely adore this setup uh, on the left business card from Hello Paper Cat because I adore her uh, I've just got this little washi card here, um, it is from Josephine Bow Designs as well, just got some of my favourite washies on it, and I like the little rose gold heart sticking at the top. I've got some more little dewdrop stickers here from Linda's Little Stickers, um, I also have a business card here from Paper Echoes, I just liked the colours and I thought it went nicely with this planner. And then I've got these little samplers from Bomb Boutique in here as well. Just some really pretty colours. I thought I would test those out. And of course a Coffee Monsters Co. Magnetic pin here. The writing time pin. So cute. So I've covered the Avec cover, which is that yellow colour, uh, with some... This is actually just packaging paper that came from a Josephine Bow Designs package. And I've just put some rub-ons here of the Peon Girls enjoy the little things. And I've just used these number stickers from Ali Edwards to put 23 on the front here and at the moment I've got this little magnetic bookmark, the Powder from... World, which I'll use on the actual book once I start using it. I've kept this planner quite minimal so inside I've just got this Dolce Vita sticker, this Dolce Vita sticker here with some washi tape grounding it and then some Peon Girls washi stamps here and again minimal inside just one piece of PET tape from Dolce, La Dolce Vita. Uh, this is new, this wasn't in my setup video so the calendar year glancy thing I don't really need in this creative planner I don't think I've got other planners for dates but I kept 2023 as it is and then I've layered some handmade paper over on this side with pink petals and things throughout it and I've used this sticker these stickers from uh, High Paper Clouds I really like the quotes she was like the moon part of her was always hidden away and this beautiful moon sticker here and then I've got another little quote at the bottom as well and I've used some sticker alphas for 2023 lining up there and I've used that again shortly in the planner as well so I just like that minimal kind of look. I didn't need the 22 and 24 calendars uh, and I probably don't need this calendar either like I said but let's see maybe I'll use it for something. I've got the Calendex spread in here and I don't have a real plan to use this except for as an index. I'm uh, just going to pop in anything outstanding that I'm doing inside of this creative journal on the pages where that happens. In the meantime I've just covered this uh, column here with some uh, I think it's meow illustration uh, washi tape and then this kit is from Bomb Boutique I've used the Sakura colored kit in here gives it a really nice subdued look rather than those red uh, and gray boxes so that's all the way through to December so more of that washi there and then I've just taped in this um, image from a magazine here with some gold star simply gilded washi tape there so then I have my January spread because I've actually stuck December down I made a bit of a mess on this page and so I covered it up and stuck down December as well also I'm not planning to use December I will decorate these pages but probably won't use them maybe I'm not sure I may do like a line a day or something in here or just one word for something that I'm um, that 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 um, that says something about the day. I uh, haven't quite decided for the monthly spreads but really what I'm here for is the dailies. So after July we have the turning the page to a new year and I created this vision mood whatever board in Canva 
So I just printed it on some vellum and I've added this stamp from, it's a, it's a rub-on from Peon Girls and these two little quotes here which are from High Paper Clouds as well, just like the other one. And so what I've got on here is just some inspirational kind of things. So this beautiful pink desk layout. I've got my planners from last year. I really like the, the layout of that photo. I've got a flat lay here of um, my handbag from a few years ago, but I love the colours. So I kind of wanted this just to pull together some of my colours. I've got this image of a, a dahlia that I took, and then this is me in Paris. So just kind of giving me an o idea of, you know, new... Um, I'd like to buy an apartment in the next couple of years, so saving up towards that and this kind of desk setup kind of represents that. Planning is a really big part of my life, journaling, so I wanted to have that represented. I'd like to travel again in, in the future and photography in general and, and pink um, is also something that's part of my life as well. So I kind of wanted this to represent where I am now and a little bit of where I want to be. So that's that. We'll see how that changes over the year. And then this was not in my setup video. I've just gone ahead and done the January intro page. Um, it's a bit uh, crazy, I guess, <laughs> with all the spots, but I really like it. I got grabbed this girl first, Dead a Dream, and her hair has kind of um, informed the color choices that I've got here. It's simply this washi tape, which I picked up from um, Emma Stationery Hall, and. It actually looked like it was pink, but as you roll it out, it actually moves into all the other colors as well. So I opened it up and I went to the blue and purple section and the teal section and I filled all that in just with spots all over the place and then I added a little quote from Hello from High Paper Clouds and also this January Alphas from um, just an Officeworks uh, Spotlight Kit nothing uh, fancy about that one. I think that might be it in here. So similarly to my everyday planner, I haven't done anything with these back pages, but I plan to probably just stick stuff in them. And since this is my creative journal, what it's going to be for is just, as I keep saying, the ephemera of my life. I just want to document the days, either through collage or, like I said, using the ephemera that I gather from my days. So tickets and receipts and packaging, all that kind of stuff. Happy mail, all that kind of stuff. So um, really looking forward to it, actually. It's it's my favorite thing to do um, is this collage style journaling. So excited about that. And then right in the back, all I have... Oh, I have my washi page. So um, you'll hear me say it in many videos, but I'm just collecting all the little bits of washi that I use throughout the planner um, on one page so that at the end of the year you can see my kind of colour mood throughout the year in this particular book so excited about that as well. My pencil board is a Doraemon one from Hobonichi and then right in the back I have this uh, pocket f which is one of the Aristocats ones nothing in it as yet but ephemera will be kept in here before I use it if you like so just just a spot to hold things and they just slip in there I've got this words matter from Ellie Edwards just stuck on the leather there and that's it like I said my Twisby pen uh, with the pink ink um, I'll probably switch it out throughout the year I think I don't think I'll always be in that same ink but um, I think it just goes nicely with the planner at this point and I absolutely adore this cover. Like I said, it's just gorgeous. Okay, so that is my creative journal. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Just wanted to do a flip, like I said, to um, show you how I've got it set up and a little bit about how I'll be using it. But if you want to stick around, subscribe, you'll see over the next couple of months how I actually do go about using them. I'm, I will most likely do some collage spreads on camera, like a journal with me style. I quite enjoy doing that. They're always um, spontaneous. I don't really plan them out. I might have a bit of an idea based on whatever ephemera I'm using, but they're generally pretty spontaneous. So a lot of people have told me they really like the thought process, to, to watch the thought process happen. So um, if that's you, please, please stick around. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.